Okay, you guys, let me show you guys why I love the Indianapolis and Kansas City market so much. So as you guys know, we are a we are going into a recession, or we are already in a recession right now, depending on who you talk to. So let's look at how these two markets reacted in the three past recessions, okay? So let's start with 1990 to about 1993. So, so as you guys can see, Kansas City's total jobs actually increased during that time. Same thing in Indianapolis, Indiana, right? In 1990 to about 1993, Total jobs increased by about thirty thousand. So, so most markets did good in that recession. Now, let's look at the, the dot com bus, which was nineteen ninety nine to about two thousand and three. <clears throat> So again, look at this. Kansas City's total jobs actually exploded during the dot com bus. Indianapolis, Indiana. In the nine in the dot com bus. Indianapolis did shrink in total jobs, but it was not that much, right? It was only less than, yeah, it was only by 700, okay? So manufacturing actually grew during the dot com bus values did during the dot com bus so 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 multi family in Indianapolis was selling at thirty thousand and Kansas City was selling at thirty five thousand per unit. By the end of the, by the end of the dot com bus Wow, look at this. Property values actually increased. <laughs> Property values actually increased in the last, I mean, during the dot com bus. Okay? So let's look at the last recession, which was, as you know, uh, 2000. Which was the 2008, 2009. So look at this, total jobs decreased during the Great Recession. <clears throat> right? Decreased during the Great Recession in Kansas City let's see how Indianapolis did so Indianapolis decreased during the Great Recession as well happens after the Great Recession, right? Just to show you guys how resilient these markets are. 
After the Great Recession, total jobs basically increased by 20%, as you guys can see here. here. It was at 840 and it jumped to over a million total jobs after the recession. That shows you how resilient Indianapolis is, right? Same thing in Kansas City. During the recession, total jobs decreased by about 52,000. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens after. So look, similar story. It jumped by about 20% by again. It was at 814,000 jobs in 2011. And then in 2018, it jumped to a million plus, right? And then Let's look at what happened to the property values during the during the Great Recession. Okay, so so during the Great Recession, at the peak of the market prior to the Great Recession, properties in Indianapolis were. Set, was selling for 59 per unit. In Kansas City, it was selling for 74, right? 59 and 74. That was 2007. However, by 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 2012, Kansas City has recovered, actually surpassed. And then same thing with Indianapolis. Indianapolis was able to recover in quarter three of 2012. That's only five years. Both markets took five years to recover when most Markets in the nation took 10 years to recover. So that shows you how resilient both markets are. And lastly, let me show you guys something. Right? We all love Las Vegas, Nevada, but let me show you guys something. As you guys can see, when it comes to Basic employment. Basic employment means industries that that are companies where where the product is made in a certain submarket, sold all over the nation, sometimes all over the world, and then that money comes back to the to the submarket. For example, right? Then one of the top employers in Indianapolis, Indiana, it's Rolls Royce. So picture this, right? Rolls Royce cars are made in Indianapolis, Indiana. Those cars are shipped and sold all over the world. And then the money comes back to Indianapolis, Indiana, pays the employees in Indianapolis, Indiana, and then, and then those employees spend their money in Indianapolis, Indiana, right? So that's, that's what a basic employment. So here in Vegas, Look at this. Accommodations and food services 
is the biggest basic employment in Las Vegas. So that means Las Vegas is heavily dependent on accommodations and food services. Compared to compared to let's look at Indianapolis, right? So as you can see it's more spread out. For example, many manufacturing, retail trade, account, um, administrations, and waste service. They are around, you know, they're around the same number, right? There's not that much, there's not one particular basic employment that dominates the whole market. Same thing in Kansas City, Missouri. Right. So here in Kansas City, Missouri, as you can see, all the basic employment is pretty spread out, right? You have manufacturing, <clears throat> you have manufacturing, you have wholesale and transportation, which is almost the same amount. You have professional scientific technical services, which is the same, which is comparable to the health care, right? Administration and waste service is it's is comparable to finance and insurance, transportation and warehouse. Okay you guys so so as you can see both Indianapolis and Kansas City They're very diverse markets and they have been proven to be pretty stable in the last three downturns. And <clears throat> there's a quote that says, history does not repeat itself, but it often rhymes which means that this recession that we're going to go into or already in right now, it's probably not going to be the same as previous recessions, but the markets are going to react similarly. So that's why I like those two markets and that's why I continue to, to invest in those markets. Thank you very much.